Subject Verb Agreement in the Simple Present Tense Part 2 In this video, you will learn more about Subject Verb Agreement in the Simple Present Tense. Let us quickly revise the basic rules related to Subject Verb Agreement in the Simple Present. With I, we, you and third person plural, we use only the root verb. Third person plural can also include abstract nouns like thoughts, ideas, feelings. With he, she, it, that is third person singular, we use a verb s. Third person singular can also include abstract nouns like thought, idea, feelings, freedom, justice. Verb without s. Listen and repeat. I practice tennis every evening. You watch too much TV. We need some milk and sugar. They travel often. His neighbors throw the garbage on the road. Our relatives live far away. Verb with S. Listen and repeat. He sings amazingly. She plays cricket with me. It looks very stylish. My aunt cooks very well. Your idea amuses me. Observe the verb be table. The present tense forms of verb be are am, is, are. I am, we are, you are, they are. So with third person plural, we use are. And third person plural can also include abstract nouns like thoughts, ideas, feelings. He is, she is, it is. With third person singular, we use is. And this can include even abstract nouns like thought, idea, feeling, freedom, justice, etc. Let's observe the use of neither nor in the noun phrase. Neither the students nor the teachers want to reschedule the exam date. Now here we have a choice between two subjects, students, teachers. Now because both the subjects are plural, the verb does not take on S. Neither her brothers nor her mother drinks coffee. Here we have a choice between a plural subject and a singular subject, mother. The verb takes on the... Uh, the verb agrees with the noun which is closest to it. So here because mother is singular, the verb takes on S, mother drinks. Neither her mother nor her brothers drink coffee. Here, mother is singular, brothers is plural. But because the plural noun comes next to the verb, the verb does not take on S. Her brothers drink. Neither the boss nor the managers speak Hindi. Again, observe. There's a choice between a singular subject and a plural subject. But because the plural subject comes next to the verb, the verb agrees with the plural subject. It does not take on S. Neither the radios nor the television works. Radios, plural. Television, singular. Television comes next to the verb. So the verb agrees with a singular noun. Television works. Now take this quiz. Choose the correct verb. Here are the answers. Neither the receptionist nor the officers answer my questions. Neither the students nor the teachers complain about the food here. 
Neither you nor your sister wastes time on the internet. Neither he nor you tidy up the room. Neither he nor the other boys work properly. Neither my sister nor I use makeup. Use of either or. Either her friends or her sisters need the book. Again, when you use either or, you have to choose between two subjects. Here, both the subjects are plural, friends, sisters, and the verb agrees with the subject which is closest to it, sisters need. Either her friends or her sister needs the book. Now notice the first subject is plural and the second is singular. The verb agrees with the subject which is closest to it, her sister needs. Either the storekeeper or the workers know the password. The first subject is singular, the second subject is plural. The verb which is near the second subject agrees with the second subject which is plural. Workers know. Either the workers or the storekeeper knows the password. Notice now the verb knows agrees with the singular subject storekeeper. The captain, the captain or the sailors check the logbooks. Notice captain is singular, sailors is plural, but the verb agrees with the subject closest to it. So check agrees with sailors. Sailors check. The sailors or the captain checks the log. Now here, the verb agrees with the singular subject captain. The captain checks. The sailors or the captain checks the books. Now take this quiz. Choose the correct verb. Either Madhu or Millie knows how to open this box. The gardener or the drivers come to collect the newspaper. Either the waiters or the bellboy brings us tea at 11 a.m. The accountants or the financial department pays the employees every month. Either my brothers or I polish the shoes every day. My mother or my grandmothers decorate the prayer room in the morning. Let's observe the use of everybody, nobody, everyone, no one, every one of them, each one of them. What do these words really mean? Everybody means every single body or every single person. Nobody means no single body. Everyone means every single one. No one, no single one. Not one of, not one single one of. Each and each single one. Note all the ab above subjects are singular, third person singular. Listen and repeat. Everybody likes to listen to pop music. Nobody is here. Everyone keeps their books here. No one cleans this room. Not one of the workers has come today. Each boy and girl fills in an application form. Each student gets a scholarship. Each of the rowers takes her turn at rowing. Use of none. None can be both singular and plural. The noun that comes after none determines if the verb should take, should take on an S or not. None of the water is polluted. Note, water is a non-count noun. It is one body. None of the water is polluted. But the second sentence is none of us, us is plural, 
know the answer. None of the girls, again plural, speak French. None of the sugar smells. Here again, sugar is a non-count noun. So it takes on verb S. None of the rice is spoilt. None of the ground is disturbed. None of the grounds are mowed. Take this quiz. Choose the correct verb. Here are the answers. Everybody drinks tea in the morning. Nobody likes the sound of the loud music. Everyone follows your instructions. No one disobeys you. Each boy and girl decides the color of their cover page. Each employee contributes to the group insurance scheme. Choose the correct verb. None of the oil is packed. None of the boys eat fish. None wish to volunteer for this dangerous mission. None of the homework is complete. None of the men are missing. None of the cake is missing. None of the cookies are good to eat. Plural subjects. All of, all the, several, many, most. All of them attend music class. All the musicians perform fantastically. Several employees work in the evenings. Many of the members refuse to sign. Most of the men stay close by. Quiz time. Choose the correct verb. All the children expect gifts from you. Several ministers make unreasonable requests. Many of their students make silly mistakes. Most of the women wake up before 6 a.m. Congratulations! You have learnt more about subject-verb agreement in the simple present tense. Thank you.